Merry Christmas, baby. Reindeer's coming out to play. Santa Claus is packing the presents, making sure you've been behaving okay. Hello everyone, Christina Werner here. Welcome to day 21 of the holiday card series for 2022. I'm using the gilded ornamental embossing folder and die set from Simus' stamp to create two cards today. So the dies cut out that center element of the embossing folder and I'm going to do my cutting first and then the embossing. I have never used a cutting and die combo like this before. But every time I've seen anyone online use them, they do the cutting first and the embossing second. And I would assume that's to preserve any of the texture that the embossing folder does, because if you did the embossing first and then die cut, it would flatten everything out. And we don't want that to happen. So I've done my die cutting first and I just kind of eyeballed where that center design would be on my cardstock, and then after I cut it out, I lined it up inside the embossing folder. I just spritz uh, both sides of my cardstock just to make sure that I have a really good impression and the cardstock won't crack. And then I placed it inside the embossing folder and closed the folder and ran it through my die cutting machine. Now my die cutting machine is the Anna Griffin Empress. So the perfect sandwich for that using these very thick embossing folders is just the embossing folder with the cardstock plus one cutting plate. That seems to be the perfect combination. So I wanted to add a second color of cardstock to my design. So I picked out some matte silver cardstock from Simon and I did those same cuts and I decided, you know what? I'll just make two cards because I'm gonna be cutting pieces out of both cardstocks. And when I did this second round of embossing, I decided to try out embossing the full design with the cut pieces inside. So I ran them through my die cutting machine all at the same time, lined up on that embossing folder. I didn't know if it would work well, if it would shift or not line up quite right, but it worked great. And I was able to emboss all three pieces, the outer frame, the little ornament design in the center, plus the flower shape as well. And I love how this looked. I love metallic papers through an embossing folder. They just look great. So then I went back and grabbed the white pieces that I had cut earlier and ran those through my embossing folder. And I just lined those up and then ran them through. I think everything here looks absolutely beautiful. So I'm going to start to assemble them so I can get an idea of what my card's gonna look like. And I decided to go uh, with some red glitter cardstock. This is crimson glitter cardstock from Simon. I put that on the back and then I'm gonna put this, the white and then the silver right on top. And then with the silver piece right there in the center. It does not look so stunning. It's very beautiful. You've got the, the glitter, the shine, and the, the texture. I think it looks great. I'm using some Gina K Connect glue in one of her fine tip precision bottles to apply glue right around the outside of that cut area. And um, I just, I used quite a bit of glue because I wanted to be able to kind of move the glitter cardstock around and get it in the right place. But you can see it's going to look great there. Some of the glue kind of came outside the glitter or outside the frame, but uh, this glue dries clear. So I wasn't too worried about that. So now I'm taking some additional white cardstock die cuts that I created just using the frame and the center element die. And I actually cut out enough to create four layers of plain white cardstock and then the embossed piece on top. So technically I guess there's five layers of cardstock on this one element. Uh, but for this first one, I'm putting the silver on top. And then for the second one, I'm going to glue all of those layers together. And then I can put the white embossed frame right on top. And I'm going to repeat all of these steps for the center pieces um, on the cards as well. That little flower shape that you can see up on, like on my uh, work surface up there at the right. So I wanted these to be popped up and you could of course put these on top of foam tape or anything like that, but I thought it would just have a little bit more sturdiness if I used cardstock to build these up and layer them. 
So after I had all of those pieces put together, I'm gonna to start assembling my card. I'm taking some Tombow Extreme Adhesive and applying that to an already cut and folded card base. And then I'm pressing my card design down on top. And it's going to adhere the glitter paper and that embossed panel directly to the front of my card. So then I did the same thing for my other card, but this time I'm using the silver background with the glitter behind it. And I'm going to be building kind of like an opposite color scheme on this second card. So now I'm gonna start taking the frames that I've got going and putting glue on the back of them and then placing them directly over top of that red glitter paper. Now there was a little bit of that red peeking out from underneath them. I think if I was to do this again, I would have uh, saved one of the plain white pieces of cardstock and uh, that was cut and I would adhere that directly to the card first and then put the rest of these pieces on top. I think that might have lined up just a little bit better. I adhered everything with glue and then I put some uh, acrylic blocks over the top to hold everything down while I worked on the greetings. I'm using some reverse sentiment strips from Simus' stamp and I just used a, a strip die to cut those out and then my scissors to trim out the individual greetings. I used some foam tape from Waffle Flower to go behind each one of these sentiment strips. And then I'm going to be adhering directly on top of my card designs. Now I chose to use some foam tape over the top of this, but you could definitely uh, just glue it directly down on top. There's already lots of thickness and layering on the card itself. The green doesn't necessarily need to have the foam tape behind it. So those are my two cards for today. I hope you guys enjoyed. This was day 21 of the holiday card series, and I will be back on Friday for my usual live stream for day 22. So please come back and join me at 11 a.m. Mountain Time, and we will create a card together. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.